Okay, here we go. Hello. Hello. I bow to you. Good day. This is where Agent Nine went off to. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent. <laughs> That's quite good. I love how the, the monkeys are monks. Yeah, monk monkey. It's good. It's actually quite My, good level. I, I really love the monks in Colossus. Those are just, I just love those guys. Yeah. They're so funny, but like, our, their design was really cute too. <laughs> mm. Oh, the mammoths from Spyro 3! Nice to... Nice remember these? Enemies, remember right? these enemies? Yeah. They were. I, I have. I felt bad killing these enemies too because they're so cute. They really are. <laughs> oh, I like that you can actually jump on ice in this game. You couldn't in free. That's nice. Unless that's not proper ice. But either way, that is very nice. I do like that because it's nice. I have more control. Yes. <laughs> I have more control. So that's quite good. Can you imagine a realm where, like, Agent 9, they stuck with it? <laughs> and we wouldn't have Ratchet and Clank, we'd have Agent 9. <laughs> yeah, there, there was gonna be that spin-off, wasn't there? That's what, like, that's what they were, that's the direction they were heading before they scrapped it and just put uh, all... It wasn't actually an Agent 9 game, it was a different game. Um, uh, but it didn't, it was actually in production for a while, but it didn't, it just wasn't going in places so they ended up scrapping it but it i don't know if it was actually insomniac working on the agent nine game i don't know also why weren't the philosopher uh dragonflies here at the monastery <laughs> um because it's not their monastery i guess i i guess i don't know i, I don't know i mean technically like the Philosopher Dragons hadn't been made. Like they were the they were in Hero's Tale first. No, no, no the, the the Philosopher Dragonflies. Oh, Dragonflies, sorry. Like remember right. how we had the one that was Krishnamurti and, yeah, and Socrates? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point actually. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I thought you meant like just dragons just being here. I see what you mean. Yeah, no, that yeah, that's fair. Also, why is there a seashell chest? Should we, that would have been on the island? <laughs> Uh, what? Yeah, what? I don't know. I have a little bit of a feeling that these levels... I, I don't know anything about the development of this game, but I'm seeing a lot of clues right now that lead me to believe that something got swapped. Yeah, late just in development. Ac accidentally. Yeah, because why, why would the seashell chest be here and the philosopher dragonfly names be there? I don't know. This is really laggy, though. Spyro controls really well on ice, but this is incredibly laggy. Like, uncontrollably laggy. The okay. ice effects are really nice. I guess that's the reason for it. Like, it, it, it is really good. It works. It feels really good to control. It's, it's impressive. I like it a lot, actually. It, it's probably the best thing this game's done, to be honest. Like, the Water original... looks nice in some places. Yeah, like, the original, <laughs> the original Spyro has... Spiral? The original Spyro has the, the best, like, water mechanics in any game. Like, this actually has really good ice mechanics, I'll give it credit. Okay, there's like nothing on screen, why is it lagging now? Like, there's nothing happening. The PS2 just can't handle the updated graphics. Clearly. Hello! Hello! Spyro! I know you've heard the hideous, scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my kind and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? That Yeti took my ball! <laughs> but oh. why is he saying that I know you've heard Yetis are like violent creatures when we've met before? Yeah, I've I know. met I, you. I don't know. You don't have to reintroduce yourself. <laughs> I mean, technically we haven't met Bartholomew, I guess. And Bentley, I guess, neglected to mention he's had any interaction with us. But no, but Bomber Follow Me was... Oh, that's, that's right. Technically, we've right. met Bentley, Actually, not him. We've never met Bartholomew. Yeah. You know? I don't think the two interacted at any point. No, we always said goodbye to Bentley at, like, the gate, so... Yeah, because Bartholomew stuff was always in Bentley levels, yeah. that's right. So I guess that's why. 
<laughs> you know, looking back at it, I can see why people can't stand Bentley levels. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're really slow. <laughs> yeah. It's... Yeah, I mean, the, the extra characters in Spyro 3 aren't bad, but some of them just really drag on too long, and they're just a little bit Drag slow. on? Uh, yes. Yes, they do that. But, uh, the... The Sheila levels in Season of Flame were really good. See, yeah. I haven't played any of the GBA ones, but I only hear positive things about it. Season of Ice was... Eh, like, it was just trying to find itself. Because it's hard to do a 3D platform on a, on a game on a, like a screen like that. Because obviously it can't be full 3D, it's a top-down kind of thing. You know what 3D platformer was, like, amazing? Um, the Battle for Bikini Bottom game, Spongebob? Yeah, I've heard about that. That game, that game was amazing. Like it, it's, it's like it's really sad that licensed games really can't like attain that level of effort anymore. You know, mm. I feel like all licensed games right now are just quick cash grabs. Like if you even look at the, like the early Disney, like the PS1 Disney titles, those had so much effort put in them for being movie licensed games. Yeah, they did. Like, I, I. I don't know if, like, a lot of people have this opinion, but I thought, like, Bugs Life on PS1 was, like, one of the best licensed games ever made. I really love the PS1 Bugs Life. I feel that way about Toy Story 2. Yeah. I didn't actually... I wasn't paying enough attention. What did you want me to do? <laughs> Tell me again, oh wise one. You be a young dragon, Spyro, but you have the spirit of an elder. Okay, so I guess nothing. Fair enough. Cool, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. If I need to do something, I'm sure the guide will tell me, so... I'll find out later. Right, here's the first Yeti. Do you remember anything about the Yetis? My god, we're fly flying slowly. Jesus Christ. Um, do you remember anything about them? Other than... Though, I remember the one in Colossus that ate... That was evil and ate someone. Okay, now you'll see. And I remember the one that's Here the boxing one. You'll, you'll see. British Yetis! <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, good. it's really because all the Yetis in, in previous entries just sort of screamed. Yeah. And in this, in this time around, they're just like posh. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love it. The, I, I don't know what who came up with that idea, but I salute you. I would actually really, like, I doubt any of the developers of this game are watching. But I would really like to just discuss what happened. Like, I just, I'd love to know what happened, what went wrong, what what time constraints were there, what was cut. I think Rush is one, but when you, but this is considered a new studio, they probably were just trying to like figure out what the formula of a Spyro game is. And like I've said before, if this was the first entry in the Spyro series, it would be passable. Yeah, you know? it could. It's not. Like, it's not terrible, it's just, it's glitchy everywhere, and it, like, it lags at well, times. Well, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything new, or, new yeah. or it doesn't really do anything that new, and, like, it feels very, like, unoriginal, you know what I mean? It just yeah. feels sort of there, and that's the problem. The previous three oh. games innovated on themselves, and because this is a new developer, they just probably didn't feel comfortable going all out. So mm. they were like, I'm gonna pick something that, you know, or I'm gonna, we're gonna design it as, like, you know, play it safe. And they played it safe, but once you're three games in, you can't. You gotta yeah. take some risks, you know? I'll give it credit just there. I could have easily just flew off the cliff when I collected that dragonfly, but it actually turned me around automatically. That's really good. <laughs> that's, that's genuinely great programming. I thought of that. Yeah. Like, the, the, there are bits like that which I'm like, that's really good. Well thought out. It works. Like, you, you, it's a countermeasure. But I imagine I would love to see the beta in which that doesn't happen. You get it, and you just die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you <it's>, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That would be really funny if it was just done in the, like if the name was done based on what he said. So like, like so like if he actually said something different, like the audio just glitched. It's like hey, it's oh, Ripto. Like just, <laughs> just said hey, it's Ripto. On the screen, that'd be really good. It wouldn't, but still, that'd be funny. I would, I would have, I would have appreciated that. <laughs> Just more things like that. There aren't really any sound glitches in this game, which is impressive considering the rest of them. You'd, you'd expect something yeah. like the filter. So this is a pretty big area. Okay, cool. 
I mean, I think there are 900 gems in this level, but it's actually giving us quite a few, so it's not too bad. Four for a second, I hadn't landed there. <laughs> they are, whoa! Ooh, what was that? Ooh, can I actually... No charging... My four for a second charging actually makes me go a little bit faster, but I don't think it does. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It is, it is really... Oh, hello. Didn't know you were there. <laughs> You're going to tell me to take out the vultures. Flying okay, flying riptox. Uh, vultures, flying riptox. The, same, yeah, same thing. thing. The, the... Birds were dinosaurs at one point, yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking. They, they can they can apply. Did you ever see... Did you see Jurassic World? Yes. Yes, I did. I, I loved, loved it. it. It was Yeah, great. I loved it. It, it was, it was, yeah, it was very impressive. I thought, it, I thought it was the right amount of cheesy, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That said, I hated the older brother. It's like... Oh, yeah, I thought the brother characters I, I just, were like... You, you need to, you, you, why aren't you dead? Like, come on, like, you're, you're <laughs> basically cheating on your girlfriend. Like, I actually officially hate you. <laughs> it, it's just like, I love you, so like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going on a holiday that I don't care about, and I don't love you, so, you know, whatever. But, Okay. Die, but I hope you get eaten instantly, <laughs> slowly. But yeah, it's uh, no, it's good. Apparently, there were going to be two sequels. Which, Already slated? Uh, yeah, apparently, which I'm fine with because it was really good. <laughs> so yeah. So I I'm I'm alright with that. Uh, I can deal with that. Um, what am I aiming for? Oh, uh, vulture ripped up. Pterodactyls. But I cannot shoot, apparently. <laughs> For the life of me, cannot shoot. Aren't there crosshairs? Can't you zoom in? No, this is what I got. Yay, You'll I get got eventually. one. That took a needlessly long amount of time. <laughs> I see um, some pots down there. Yeah, I'm just seeing what else I can break. Yeah, I can't get that. Uh, that's about it. Okay, cool. What if I go first? I mean, I guess I'll go to the oh, other some... cannon. Do you need the other cannon to get to those? Yeah, I need to get the, the rib tops that way. Because they're too low down. So I may as well take them out this way. Uh, where are they? Um... Oh, there's a thing over here as well. Um... Oh, there they are, there's one. Like, this level here, it just feels like icy peaks, like 2.0. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yes, Fox. Gaku, okay. Oh, yeah, the t <laughs> that sounds like a Chinese knockoff of Dragon Ball Z. Gaku! Come on, Gaku! We have to defeat Bagu. <laughs> hey man, nice shot. What? <laughs> hey man, nice shot. Uh, I mean, <laughs> is that the language that monks use? I, I, I would have expected like you have Imagine entered the sol the the solitary um, temple of joy or something. We are forever. We are forever great man. man. <laughs> Sup, we man. Take a... <laughs> just sit down on my pad. <laughs> we are forever grateful for your help. Now it's like, bruh, you totally shot those guys. <laughs> Didn't that guy say something completely different? Like, could I speak to you again for a sec? Please. Are you gonna breathe on me for a bit? <laughs> can I speak to you again? I swear uh, you said... I, I wasn't paying attention. I swear you said something completely different, but whatever. I remember that, like, they do say so. Actually, it's not that one, there's one, I think I know which one it is. Like, he has like two lines of text and he says three words. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure there's one that does that. I think it's the one in that alcove over there, but I might be wrong. So I will make sure I pay attention to that. Cause I yeah, oh, I actually, remember this too. is the end of the level. <laughs> I mean, there's loads of other things to do, but it's like halfway through 
and it's, there's the exit portal. The one thing I don't like about the exit portal is it's not too different from like the bonus portals, so if you a young kid might not tell the difference between the two. Yeah. Ah, that's how I get there. Okay. That's cool. Noted. Hello. Are you going to give me a dragonfly? Probably. Wow. But hope. More than I expected, but, uh, thanks. Nope. <laughs> cool. Alright. Fair enough. I don't know what you wanted me to do. You were very ambiguous about the whole thing. But fair enough. I'll take it. Uh, I think we have to defeat all the Riptops, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess. Whoa, this is terrifying. Okay. There we go. There should be a Yeti up here. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Speedrunning tactics. <laughs> hey there. Those tricky rip tops caught me off guard, Spyro. Many thanks for your help. <laughs> Those pesky blackguards were in my way, and they froze me like a popsicle. <laughs> I've never, I don't know anyone named Gunther. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's normally a German name. Really? Okay. Yeah, uh, I believe so. Um, I could be wrong, of course, but I think it's a, a German or a German origin. Um, so. Yeah. So, um, did I ever tell you um the story about the guy named General? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so my um. My stepmom is a, um, like, manager for, like, a dental office, so she has all these records. And one day this guy comes in, and his first name is General, and it was because his mother wanted him to be, like, respected. So, like, she named him General, so people would think he's a general. What the platform, please? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, did it work? Was he respected in any way, shape, or form for his life? No. <laughs> That's that's weird. Yeah, um, I mean, cool. It's like it's like if somebody named you president, it'd be <laughs> like I don't. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> these platforms. This is why. This is what all these lives have been for. For this very moment. Oh no, no. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, Spyro. That was cool. <laughs> It was interesting flying you did there. Yeah, these these platforms are really not good to work with, and especially since this one's so far away. Oh boy. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> just goes like that. I really like that motion. <laughs> That's my favorite gliding motion now. I like that. I need to do it more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, come on. I believe in you, Sparrow. You can do it. I also believe in myself. Yay, there we go. If you don't believe in yourself, how will you be able to accomplish anything? I don't know. <laughs> the question that haunts me daily. Oh, no. Okay, wait. No, this one says it's a hot air balloon, which is bad. But I think I remember a tank level here. Why would they put a tank level in the monastery? I don't know. <laughs> Why would the monks have a tank if they're non-violent? <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think I remember one. We'll see. We'll see. There's a hot air balloon, which is probably dropping bombs on people. I don't know. Oh, there is, isn't there a slide here? There might be. I, t I feel like there's a slide, but I also feel like there's a tank level I don't know anymore. <laughs> Why would there be a tank? I, I, I mean, I'm not questioning it because it's this game of all things, but... We'll see. Okay, the baby dragon is just randomly here now. Oh, hello! I mean, in fairness, at the monastery, they do have cannons, so... I mean, that's, that's bad. <laughs> what is this? Oh, there's just a warplane level. <laughs> Are you kidding? I have to press it manually. I can't just hold it down. 
Am I, what am I destroying exactly? The buildings? The factories. Or? Yeah, 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 the sort of factories that, that, are, that are producing the turrets that we see in the level, I guess. The ones that aren't dying. How, how does this work? You probably have to drop bombs on them. Oh, yeah, that. Jesus. Yeah, that, um, that, why have I been using the other weapon? <laughs> 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 What's the point? <laughs> this is excellent. This fixes all the problems. Jesus Christ. This guy's just going to town. <laughs> yeah, why would you use the machine gun? The one where you have to actually press instead of hold down. <laughs> That's the That's worst the machine gun I've ever seen in my life. But this fixes all problems. Missile. Can you get a machine gun if you have to like m keep firing over and over? <laughs> Isn't the point of machine gun to hold it down? <laughs> yes, yes it is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not really a machine gun. It's like this is much easier now that I know about this weapon. I must say. I'm apparently missing two though. I'm not sure where. Probably down here. Nope, not there. Dude, you're just decimating everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's it's amazing. It really is. Die. <laughs> well, I could just shoot you, but this seems much uh, less humane. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go, done. Wow, really hard. <laughs> yeah. One of these factories. It is now dead. <laughs> it yeah, what's is the story of this guy saving this dragonfly? <laughs> yeah. I found a dragonfly. It was in eight pieces of this area. <laughs> I glued it back together for you, Spyro. By the way, can you get my kite? <laughs> they keep rebuilding. <laughs> so what is the point of... <laughs> they keep rebuilding. That's fine. I'm fine with this. They're in the exact same place, I think. But that's I, okay. I don't think we have to do this one twice. Yeah, we do. I think we do. But, oh jeez, yeah, their aim is better now. It's fine. I, I, it's not hard. Yeah, yeah. there are more cannons. It's, yeah, it is, it's not a problem. Yeah, I don't think there is a tank level. I think there's replacing the tank. I don't know why I was thinking there was a tank. Maybe because I was well, just I thinking mean, you, of this. I mean, there was a vehicle level. Yeah, I think it might have been because of this. Yeah. But I just remember destroying things. And that <laughs> being led me to the obvious conclusion. Tanks were obviously involved. Tanks were involved. <laughs> yeah, they were just attacking me instead. Okay, I'm missing one. Probably round the back over there. Are you there? Final one? Surprisingly, no. Oh, there it is. Got it. No, don't shoot me down. <laughs> there we go. Good. That was the hardest mission. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> really? You don't need to do it? Oh. I t yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, I thought you did, because there were, there were more turrets and the better aim. And... That's actually interesting, though. If you do, if you redo a mission, it is a harder difficulty. So that's good to know. That's yeah, actually... but it's not like you're rewarded for doing it again. No, I know, but if you enjoyed it and you want a, a better challenge, then it is there, which is good. It is something, at least. Which is, it's always nice. Thank you, game. Well, we, uh, we have... Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if there was a demo of this game on, on a demo disc anywhere, and I'm gonna find it, yeah. and I'm gonna buy it, and we're gonna do that as a bonus episode. Because <laughs> I wanna know. I wanna know right. what this game was prior. Like, we also need to work out how old the build of the game is, judging from release date. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's a couple of months old, then that's quite interesting. Actually, look yeah, at the I trailer would be a little interesting bit as well. I wonder if there's a trailer somewhere. Because that'd be interesting to see the differences in the trailer.